It was another rainy October day in New York City. And in this such a beautiful weather, me and my friends decided to visit a Metropolitan Museum of Art so I can do my art project. And while we were walking towards this museum, we saw a lot of modern art around us. And from the first glance, it might seem slick as a garbage. However, if you're gonna look closely, you might see a similar pattern in it. And it might look well familiar or even very unique. And you might be concerned of its meaning because it might be very confusing. However, the main thing you have to understand is an art. And it's gonna be a modern art or the old one. Which is actually was the inspiration for the all new arts around us. And it might be forgotten. However, it still presents in our modern world. Just look closely and you might see all of these small pieces of old art and old architecture and song. Therefore, you can say that it's an old art. It's time to be thrown into the garbage and be forgotten. Because look at this beautiful and modern world. There is no place, no space for the old art. However, I would like to see the old art in the modern world. And whenever I see this beautiful and old architecture, I admire it. It might look kind of Halloween-y, but even so it's Halloween-y. Just look at all of these details as a beautiful and very careful details in it. We actually can see the work of art because artists were very careful when they were creating something and they were bringing all the beauty in each small detail in their art, no matter what was it. Therefore, one thing about art still hasn't changed yet and it's that thing that the art always was expensive. And before we could see the art in the churches, because churches at that period of time sponsored many artists to create their art for the church. That is why many churches were beautiful. Well, they are still beautiful, however, in this big modern world, they are more like a small coast between the simplified modern buildings. And many people consider all art as something as Halloween decorations. We are forgetting its meaning and that art is not only the spooky skeletons and old decoration. It's something more than that, but people are just ignoring this fact and keep going with the simplified world and every day we are passing by a beautiful art but we are just not seeing it now and of course we all are free people and we have our own rights and all things to do and we can walk any way we want but we also have to remember that one day all this old art may be disappeared and wash away just like this rain washing away the dirt from the street it was raining heavily, so we decided to hide inside of the St. Patrick's Cathedral, which is another great example of a Gothic style architecture. The rain stopped and we saw a few more beautiful cathedrals between these glass cube buildings. And there are actually a lot of them in New York City and not only in New York City, but many people are just tend to ignore that fact that this architecture is existing among us. Therefore, while we were getting closer and closer to the museum, we saw more and more art on our way and some of the art was very simplified and funny and other one actually reminded me of my old childhood.
And here's this beautiful museum, which I'm actually visiting for the first time. Yeah, I didn't have any chance to get in here before, but since it was my first time visiting this museum, I was very excited to see what kind of art is going to be there. The moment we entered the museum, the heavy downpour began in the street, but we didn't care about that anymore because we were already inside of, of the museum. And here's you a little tip. If you are a resident of New York City, I can actually show you ID and pay any amount uh, you wish for a ticket or even go there for free. We just pay $5 per ticket and we began to enjoy a beauty of art. During ancient time and even after, most of the art in the most part of the world was religious. Some of the religious art was not allowed to use the image of the gods, so in this case the religious art was presented as calligraphy or some floral patterns or maybe hieroglyphs. But compared to Christianity, in the Christian art it was allowed to use the image of the god and that is why we can see a lot of temperas or mosaics, frescoes and sculptures. Another great example could be a Greek Roman art, but they use mythology in this case. And because of this, many people were able to understand their religion, because many people weren't able to read. And also, when they saw the image of the god, their beliefs probably were getting more stronger. Um, it also was very beautiful, and church was making money out of it. However, later, the art began a new history, because it started dividing itself from the religious art, even so we still can see some reference even in the knight's armor, like all the small patterns but the art still began a new history and we can see a change in the designs of the rooms, of the furniture, clothes and just look at this beauty. With every year, religious art were replaced with something easier in art, like Rococo art. It has a very simple meaning, like um, love stories, love dramas, a beauty of the everyday life, and maybe some betrayal in the relationship, which is not really good, which, which is why many people were actually mad about this art, but I actually love Rococo. But anyway, Religious art was still appreciated by many people, and I don't know how, but while we were walking around this museum, we still got back to the religious art. <laughs> I don't know how, but we managed to watch again different sculptures, frescoes, um, and other beauty of the religious art. And because of that, I was thinking, like, I think it's a sign for me to choose something from the religious art because we also managed to cover a lot of material about religious art in our art history class so i was also admiring all these miniatures of the people from that age and just in general i was also admiring the old art because just imagine how people were creating this beauty without any modern materials and modern tools and technology and it still lasts until now and we still can admire it it also so interesting how the art evolved and right now we have a lot of different art styles and a lot of talented artists but the religious art is not that popular it was before so this is another reason why i chose the religious art for my art project and this is the last room we went to it has a lot of beautiful temperas and i chose one of them and later i kind of regret it because I couldn't find a lot of information on it, so it was kind of like lack of information. And here's this tempera, it's Marone and Chell Entroned, which was painted by Carla Cruelli, Italian artist, uh, in 1472, which is late 15th century. Honestly, I love this tempera. 
also it doesn't look like most of them even so it still has a lot of similarities in the position of the madonna and the child but it used gold and green which is kind of unusual because most of the time madonna presented in that dark blue or something like red and here it says green and gold the presence of shadows on this tempera make it looks more realistic, however, it's still not realistic enough because the proportions of the hands of the Madonna is way too big compared to the baby. Also, the baby has a little problems in that anatomic design and painting a little bit, but for that century it looks fine, it looks great. We also can see that the baby is reaching somewhere originally the baby was reaching to the bird like in the most other temperas uh, also we have some more symbols here which has a hidden meaning like the fly which is evil and the two pears which represent the fall of man it also has a cracked uh, marble a panel on the bottom from my perspective at first i thought it was like the cracked old testament and the beginning of the new one but it also said the information i found said that it was just the way the artists love to do this because in some of the other artworks of this artist we could see the same um cracked marble and presence of the fruits and vegetables the wooden decoration of this tempera is so beautiful and very well detailed and the tempera itself is beautiful but it still was a headache to find all the needed information because particularly this artwork of this uh, artist wasn't really like popular and it was really hard to find anything about this because none of the research says a lot just like a little bit of the info but no worries, information I found was enough to finish my project and I got the highest grade, so I was happy with that. I also was happy to visit this museum and my sister and my friend also kind of enjoy it, even so they kind of hate it because they're not really into the art history, but I was in love with this and I'm gonna come here one more time. But for now, thank you everyone for watching, I hope I say everything correctly, and I hope you like my video. Thank you, bye!